Thousands of people hit the streets across the world commemorating Nakba or the catastrophe on May 15. Nakba refers to the genocide of around 13,000 Palestinians and the expulsion of another 750,000 from their homes in 1948 by Zionist forces for the creation of Israel. More than 530 Palestinian villages were also destroyed in the process. The protesters carried giant keys, a popular symbol of the Nakba. The mock keys represent the keys to the homes Palestinians had kept when they were forced into exile in 1948. This year's Nakba comes right after Israeli forces murdered prominent Palestinian journalist Shirin Abu Akleh. The violence on Palestinians still continues in the form of murder, torture, illegal arrests, demolitions, raids, etc. The map of Palestinian land continues to shrink while Israeli state institutions continue to rule in favor of illegal Israeli settlement expansion. According to UN agencies, there are about 6.3 million Palestinian refugees in the Arab world alone, which includes refugees living in occupied Gaza and West Bank. There are over a million more refugees in West Asia, according to unofficial figures. For millions of refugees living all across the world, Nakma reminds what they have lost. It reminds them that their ancestors were forced to flee their lands, their homes, their families behind by the militants who created Israeli state in 1948 it also reminds them that they are their fellow palestinians are suffering in the hands of the israeli state on the day to day basis in the occupied territories it it reminds them that how hundreds of thousands of illegal settlers are living on the, their lands it reminds them that they have to fight against all these oppressive practices it is a reminder for them that they have to fight for their right to self determination their right to return and their right to equality in the in the land which belongs to them so nakba is not only what happened on in the may 1948 what it is a a constant reminder of what palestinian movement stands for that is the relevance of nakba today amid this the neftali bennett government last week issued a fresh order to construct over 4000 new homes for settlers in the occupied west bank 3000 more settlements were approved in october last year there are already over 250 illegal israeli settlements inside the occupied west bank and east jerusalem where close to 750000 illegal settlers live nearly half of area c of the occupied west bank or 18% of its total has been declared as firing zones for israeli military palestinians have however resisted the occupation forces on every occasion whether it be against their repeated attacks on al aqsa aggression on gaza or raids on palestinian villages while Israel continues to enjoy the backing from major imperial powers the people of the world are standing in solidarity with Palestine and rejecting the actions of Israel